Hey guys, Kyle here with Oregon Outdoor Lighting. Uh, really excited to walk you through today's project. We're gonna be walking through this modern farmhouse style. It's uh, one of the more popular styles in the Northwest and uh, really excited to show you guys everything we did on this house. Uh, first place we're gonna start is talk about how we kind of approach the driveway. So <clears throat> on a longer driveway like this, uh, we don't like to do a bunch of path lights. Two reasons is one, it kind of clutters the look quite a bit during the day and we just don't like that kind of fixture look going up each side. So we actually requested that the client plant trees on each side of the driveway, which they did here for us. What this does is this gives us that outline of the driveway, gives the home a nice presence, and it's a better solution in a lot of situations than doing the traditional path light look. One of the things that's important when you're designing a house is to look at how the house presents itself. It's not just about the front yard and the backyard. So for example, on this house, the side of the house is part of the front yard presentation. So it's important to light that as well. The things that really stand out to us are, as two peaks, the four pillars go across the front of the house, this second story section, and then the garage doors and kind of just the garage section in general. How we illuminated this, how we designed this, is we use an uplight effect for this peak and the four pillars. Uh, we did gutter mount lights to light the second story, which is a really important thing to do. If we don't light the second story, then it basically kind of makes it look like you cut the house in half. Uh, it's a very off-putting look and it's a, it's a design detail that's missed a lot. And then to light this garage area, we used lights that go flush into the driveway themselves. Uh, it's the best approach in this situation because this garage has really dominant, large wall sconces. And so if we were going to put lights underneath the wall sconces, it would create weird shadows on the house. So we actually did the lights centered on the garage doors themselves. Uh, this gives us the added detail of the garage door and then allows us to illuminate the peak as well. So on a big open backyard like this, what we like to do is we basically just like to show the perimeter. So this backyard has really established, dominant evergreen trees. And we took a really simple design approach. Uh, we just did them around the perimeter of the yard. It really kind of extends the house and creates that outdoor room feel when you do a whole perimeter. But this is a very active family. Uh, we got dogs, we got kids, so we wanted to keep the lighting as minimal as we could, but still give them a high impact. 